As former students of York Memorial watched their beloved alma mater engulfed in flames, many shared fond memories of the school, what it meant to them, and the lasting impact it had on their lives with us online. Some, like Jacqueline, said it was a safe and welcoming space. The music room was my home away from home, she says. Hours upon hours were spent in there practicing, organizing music for my section, or just hanging out with friends over lunch. It was one of the few places I could just relax and be myself. Others shared memories of lasting friendships, like Mary, who says, I remember when I first started school there in grade 10, a girl named Susie Rossi escorted me everywhere to make me feel comfortable. Still friends today, 20 plus years later. I ran for student council for my graduating year. My opponent and I are still in touch. And Brandy adds, I met some of my closest friends there during my time. With so much history and what it stood for, I always felt a sense of pride being in that school. And former mayor of York and York Memorial alumnus Alan Tonks shared his memories of the school as he announced efforts to rebuild and restore the building. Well, there's just so many memories. Uh, uh, the Chris Tonks Arena uh, was uh, named after my father, who would attended. He was what he called a charter student of York Memorial Collegiate uh, when it opened. The memories of the teachers, uh, special teachers, uh, Bugsy Arnold, uh, that uh, if Bugsy knew that uh, we were forgetting about him, uh, he, he would go Bugsy. For me, uh, the, the, the memories of fellas and gals that I went to York with, the things we did together, the memories we have are special, but they were given to us again as, as a result of the freedoms that we enjoyed, the foundation upon what that school was built. We have details about the history and significance of York Memorial on our website, citynews.ca. And if you were a student, you can continue sharing your memories with us on our social pages.